little tuna fish. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know if I'll ever get used to saying that, but like, <laughs> it's fine. Like, it's fine. But for today's video, I filmed a sweat proof summer makeup stroll. This is super, super minimal. Actually, it's not really that minimal. There is like a lot of product and a lot of steps to this. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create super, super sweat proof, long lasting makeup. It is getting a lot hotter, especially in New York. It's like 90 degrees outside right now, which is insane it was probably like 40 degrees last week and it's jumped up to like 90 which is insane new york weather is so so crazy it changes like every week like one week it'll be fucking snowing and the next week it's raining and the next week it's like 90 degrees like i don't understand let me know but yeah i did ask you guys on twitter if you guys don't follow my twitter make sure to follow it i'll have it on the screen somewhere because i always ask you guys like what you want to see me film and i do like polls and stuff like that so go follow my twitter do it but yeah i asked you guys on twitter what you guys wanted to see me film and the most liked like suggestion was sweat proof summer makeup tutorial so that is what i'm doing for today you guys did request this and this look is really really fresh very glowy and just summer appropriate and i do give you guys like a few of my best tips on how to make your makeup last all day without it like budging or getting greasy and before we jump into it make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one right down here subscribe Hey guys, so like mentioned in the intro, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I create sweat proof, super long lasting makeup for the summertime. And yes, I'm wearing a shirt. I feel like I see this every single time I wear an off shoulder top. So annoying. I always wear these in videos even though I know people will always comment like, are you naked in this video? Blah, blah, blah. And this choker is super cute. It says baby and it's from... I think it's from misguided but i am obsessed and my fake tan is fading so it looks like really patchy everywhere so don't mind that but let's get on with the video so i've already done my eyebrows off camera i did them a little bit differently today i made them thinner and more defined which i don't usually do but trying new things you know but the most important thing you want to do if you are going out in the summertime right now it's really really hot in new york yeah the most important thing you want to do is prime because your makeup will definitely slip off if you don't prime before and i already have moisturized my face even though it is summer and you want your makeup to be as matte and not oily as possible you still want to make sure you moisturize your skin because that is super important for your skincare so i did moisturize but now i'm just gonna go in with this primer so oops i already started doing it i'm so stupid this is the it cosmetics bye bye pores primer this is an oil free poreless skin perfecting primer but also this is more mattifying than most but it's not matte to the point where it dries out your skin it's matte to the point where it'll keep your oils under control and this stuff is amazing i got rachel hooked on this stuff you guys she was texting me and she was like it's amazing I put her on it and I'm gonna put you guys on it. So comment down below if you guys did end up trying this after I've like been recommending it because I wanna know how you guys like it and what your thoughts are because for me, it's life changing. I love this stuff. It makes your skin literally look like porcelain skin, like super smooth, flawless airbrush skin. And I love that. So I'm just gonna prime. I always put way too much of this on. Oh my God, it's so hot in my house. Oh my God. Oh, I'm dying. It's literally 90 degrees outside. I'm. So I actually did get a new foundation. This is the Dior Air Flash foundation. So it's like one of those like spray airbrush foundations, I guess. I've heard really, really good things about it and I'm just trying it out now. I got the shade 201, which is linen and I literally haven't even opened it or seen the color or anything. Like it's so new, I just got it. And hopefully this matches me. I have no idea, I hope it does. So yeah, first impressions. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna use it with a beauty blender just cause I trust my beauty blender and my beauty blender never fails me. So I've heard you're supposed to spray it either directly onto your face or on the beauty blender. So I think I'm just gonna spray it on the beauty blender cause I've heard you get better coverage that way. So, oh my God. Is that too much? Oh, it's all over my fingers. Damn. So I got about that much. I don't know if that's too much or not enough. I have no idea, but I'm just going to go in. Okay, so the color isn't that off. It is definitely a little bit darker than my skin, but... Hmm. No, I'm just going to put it on and then... I'll tell you guys what I think because I don't know how I'm feeling. I'm having mixed emotions right now. I don't know how to feel. So, be me. Oh 
Also, when it's the summertime, you want to make sure you go for a lighter amount of foundation because it'll feel really, really gross throughout the day if you have so much makeup on and it's really hot outside. So I always try to go lighter, and I've heard this is a really lightweight foundation, so I think this will be perfect for that. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it honestly looks better on my neck than it does on my face, which is so weird. Okay, so it's not awful. I'll definitely give this foundation a couple more tries and I will let you guys know. But so far, it's kind of like iffy to me. Like, I'm not in love with it and I don't hate it. So I'll let you guys know. Maybe it'll look better as I apply more makeup. Who knows? We'll see. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> but for my concealer, I'll be using my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm almost out of this, so I'm literally gonna have to like scrape with the edges for this. But, <laughs> and this concealer is great for the summer because it does have more of a matte finish, especially when you blunt it out. It doesn't like leave that kind of really wet look and it's not liquidy or oily on your skin it kind of leaves more of a matte finish okay and i'm just going to set everything you want to make sure you set your makeup do not go out with just creams on your face during the summer it's going to slip around it's going to look really oily and greasy and it's going to feel like that too obviously applying powder is going to make your makeup last longer and i did get a new learn mercier powder okay. my old one fell on the floor and all of it fell out so i had to get a new one <laughs> Oh shit, I just got powder all over the place. <laughs> yes, I love my life. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and dip in with my beauty blender. You wanna make sure you blend out the creases first because if you set your makeup while there's like creasing there, then those creases are not going to budge no matter how hard you blend, they are going to stay. Trust me, I've made this mistake before. You wanna make sure you blend your concealer out right before you apply powder. And I'm going to bake everywhere all over my t-zone because this is where i get oily and once you have like a lighter amount of powder i'm gonna take it on my forehead my forehead no my nose oh my god because i always get oily here no matter what but baking it really does help and i'm also baking my chin and right here okay so what i always do while my under eyes and my t-zone are baking is i go in with a face powder this is the maybelline superstay better skin skin transforming powder what i would recommend is going in with a lighter foundation and then going in with a powder foundation like this one this will just add that extra coverage you need in a powder form so that it will last longer um, during the summer i like to stick to more powders but i do still use like a cream base i just don't go as heavy with it so what i always always do is i'll take a powder foundation like this one and apply it all over my face on any areas where i need more coverage okay and then what i do is i take my brush there is like still a little bit of product on here and i go and i press in that baking powder into my skin what this is going to do is it's going to really like push in the powder into your skin um which isn't really that good for your skin but it will make sure that no oils like come to the surface so now for bronzer so i'm just grabbing my same old r14 brush from morphe and my holy grail this is the physician's formula butter bronzer i can never say physician physician physician's formula butter bronzer i can never say that word i don't know why okay, i'm just gonna bronze up my face with this to give me some color because when you do like a lot of powder foundation it can kind of like make you look really pale and flat so I want to add like dimension back into my skin. Oh my god, I freaking love this bronzer so much. Also guys, before I move on, I want to address something. I have been seeing a few comments of people asking like, who are the giveaway winners and stuff like that. And if you are new to my channel, I do do weekly giveaways if you don't know what I'm talking about. I give away like a few products every week in my videos. And I have been getting a few questions like, who are the winners? And I typically just DM them because it does get kind of annoying to like post every time someone wins. But if you guys do win, you would know I would have been in your DMs by now. And in the summer, I typically do like to use more golden toned highlighters. So for today, I'll be using the Anastasia So Hollywood Illuminator, which is my favorite gold highlighter of all time. It's so stunning. I love having like a blinding highlight in the summer because when the sun hits you, it just looks so so pretty you look like a freaking goddess what i like to do is i go around my highlighter with a beauty blender just so that it blends with everything it doesn't look like too harsh okay and for my blush today i will be using the milani luminoso blush so before i do anything else during the summertime i usually will do my eyes after i've set my face basically that'll make sure that your mascara doesn't transfer anything and the one i've been using lately is the morphe prep and set makeup setting spray this is really new i'm not sure if it's out yet and i've been loving this lately mainly because the mist on this is so fine let me just like 
show you guys like what you can barely even see it because it's like that fine I so i'm just gonna set my face what i do is i apply it and then i go in with like something to fan it off like a palette or something this is the new carly bible one and so lock everything in and make sure you don't like move your face or anything when you do this and then once it is totally dry i go in with another layer of setting spray this is so extra but like it really really locks your makeup in place this stuff smells so good too it doesn't smell like that gross like setting spray smell if you guys know what i'm talking about okay so now my face literally feels like locked in so now for the eyes i'm doing something super minimal because in the summer i don't like to wear a lot of eye makeup just because it kind of like gets in the way and i like to have more of a fresh look in the summer so i literally just take my bronzer so i use the physician's formula one and i'll just apply this into my crease and that's it so i literally just take this up into my crease just for like some color this is not obviously like a dramatic eye look this is so minimal i'm just gonna apply a little bit more inner corner highlight so i'm gonna use the naked tutorials everglow highlighter and I'm just popping this on my inner corner because I want my inner corner highlight to be super, super blinding. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. You guys can skip lashes and just do mascara. It depends on like what you're doing, but I normally do lashes anyways, so I'm just going to show it in today's video. And I'm going to be using my Lily Lashes in Miami. These are a lot lighter than like the lashes I usually wear, um, so it'll look more natural i guess like these are kind of like more of a wispy lash they're really piecey so it just makes your eyes look so big i'm just applying some eyelash glue of course lots of lashes eyelash glue i use the mini one just because i don't even know why i use it it's just so now i'm just gonna apply my lashes the glue is tacky now so i'm just gonna apply them a lot of you guys always drag me for my inner corner on my lashes like sticking out and I have pretty long lashes, like, so it's a lot harder to put on lashes if you have, like, longer lashes because because the glue on the fake lashes always stick to your natural lashes. You guys always drag me for having, like, my inner corner lash popping off. I just get, like, super impatient with it and I just, like, give up and I just let it hang out. You know what I mean? Like, I just, <laughs> I'll let the lash do what it wants to do. I'm not gonna bother her. I'm gonna let her live. Okay, and I'm just applying some liner to my lash line to hide the lash band. Okay, and last step for the eyes is going to be mascara, and I'm using my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is my all-time favorite. But for my lips today, I'll be using this Makeup Forever Artist Liquid Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade 103. This is like my favorite liquid lipstick ever. The color is perfect, and I love this formula. It's amazing. It dries super matte, but it's not like crumbly or cakey or anything like that. It's like one of my all-time favorite liquid lipstick formulas you guys so that is it for today's video before you go anywhere make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and if you guys have any other requests make sure to leave them down below i'm always looking for new ideas for new videos and i always want to know what you guys want to see so leave any other requests anything you've been dying to see from me leave a comment down below and i'll definitely do that for you guys but yeah that is pretty much it for today's video i love you guys and i will see you in my next one bye guys